Now we turn to Proposition 8 and the California Supreme Court's decision to uphold the voter-approved ballot measure that outlaws same-sex marriage. All day long, supporters of gay marriage have taken to the streets to show their anger, while gay marriage opponents are claiming victory once again. 17's Lou Watson joining us in the News Center with a wrap-up. Lou? Well, Tammy, the issue of same-sex marriage has become the most hotly debated issue across America these past few months. Here in Kern County, emotions were riding high once again as the state Supreme Court ruled 6-1 to one to uphold the same-sex marriage ban. But neither side is backing down. Oh, completely disappointed. Uh, completely hurt by it. Um, anger, uh, frustration over it. And they have all the rights of a married couple anyway. And I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. Two passionate arguments on opposite ends of the political spectrum. But on Tuesday morning, California's Supreme Court upheld the public's view that Proposition 8 was a valid constitutional amendment. That amendment, defining marriage in our state between one man and one woman. Here in Kern County, one side rejoices while the other fights on. Look, the will of the people has been expressed. They amended the Constitution. That's a huge threshold to strive to hit. And I'm indignant about anybody taking anything away from me. I am an equal citizen in the world, much less the United States and California. Even in defeat, same-sex marriage supporters rallied here in Kern County. There were similar rallies in Los Angeles and San Francisco as thousands hit the streets. And although the outcome is still the same, supporters of same-sex marriage won't quit their fight. Just everyone should be equal, no matter what they are, what, what color, what, you know, they prefer. Um, I just think everything should be equal. Now, the one bit of good news for supporters of same-sex marriage is that the high court validated all the marriages which took place prior to the November vote, so those 18,000 marriages are still intact. Ken Mettler called that portion of the decision disappointing. Tammy. La Corte Suprema de California declaró que la proposición 8 sí si es, si está de acuerdo con la constitución del Estado y las manifestaciones ya están surgiendo a través del Estado, incluyendo nuestro condado. La decisión de la Corte Suprema en el Capitolio llegó esta mañana ante la espera de millones de californianos, tanto de quienes apoyan la proposición que prohíbe el matrimonio homosexual. Gracias a Dios por esta victoria, nuevamente una segunda victoria de que la Corte Suprema ha decidido que se va a mantener en pie. Como de quienes están en su contra. El Supreme Court decidió quitar derechos de otra gente y ese día no es un buen día para, para nadie. Durante las elecciones de noviembre, ambos lados manifestaron sus posiciones de esta controversia por todo California y nuestro condado no fue la excepción. Incluso en Bakersfield, las manifestaciones llegaron a golpes cuando ambos lados se reunieron en la misma esquina. Históricamente, el matrimonio siempre ha sido entre un hombre y una mujer, y no solo eso, la naturaleza misma nos enseña que debe ser entre un hombre y una mujer, porque ser el contrario, hombre con hombre, eso es contra la naturaleza. Es, cada quien tiene su, sus cosas que, que pedir, si él cree eso, es lo que cree eso, pero nosotros queremos nuestros derechos. La proposición 8 fue aprobada por los votantes, pero con solo el 52% a favor, quienes estaban contra la propuesta posición invocaron a la Corte Suprema quejándose que la proposición violaba sus derechos civiles. ¿Dónde vamos a parar? Si quitamos el derecho de un grupo y cualquier mayoría puede quitar el grupo de otra gente. El matrimonio es entre un hombre y una mujer y unión civil ya en California ya y otros estados más también cuentan con la unión civil que es los mismos derechos. Y ahora, el mismo día en que la Corte Suprema respaldó la decisión de los votantes, las manifestaciones vuelven a surgir con varias llevándose a cabo en estos momentos en Bakersfield, porque si de algo ambos lados están de acuerdo, es que la polémica continuará. Vamos a continuar, uh, vamos a hacer una vamos otra vez, va a haber otro voto, creo, en 2010 o 2012. Cuando eso suceda, eh, nosotros queremos defender lo que es el matrimonio tradicional. En mayo del año pasado, la Corte Superior de California le puso fin a una ley aprobada por los votantes que prohibía el matrimonio homosexual. Aproximadamente mil ocho, a 18 mil parejas del mismo sexo se casaron durante esos meses, llegando a noviembre. En su decisión de hoy, la Corte Superior declaró que esos matrimonios permanecerán legales. California Supreme Court ruled today to uphold the gay marriage ban, but they will allow existing same-sex marriages to stand. Good morning, I'm Emily Moore. And this means the estimated 18,000 same-sex couples who tied the knot before the law took effect will stay wed. This morning, 6 to 1 decision rejected an argument from gay rights activists. The ban revised the California's constitution, California, California Constitution's Equal Protection Clause 
to such a dramatic degree that it first needed the legislature's approval. The announcement of the decision caused outcry among a sea of demonstrators in Sacramento and in front of the courthouse in San Francisco. It's also generating more local debate. I'm glad the will of the people was upheld. Uh, the people did their civic duty. They voted for a constitutional amendment in the state of California. Very high th threshold to meet, uh, to define marriages between one man and one woman, as it should be. So we're pleased that the court was intellectually honest enough to see the clarity of the voice of the people. And local supporters of gay marriage were unwilling or unable to meet with us for an interview before the show, but we will have the other side tonight on ABC 23 News at 5 and 6. Also, there will be a handful of rallies around Bakersfield this evening put on by supporters of same-sex marriage.